source material. This is the most important step. Nothing else matters but this step. This is the story you're telling. Musicals come from a lot of different places. You can make a musical based on a film, based on a TV show, based on a board game, based on a movie, based on a play. What I had for breakfast this morning, the musical, somebody's thinking of that. There's an old TV show called My Mother the Car, where literally this guy's mother is a car. It was never explained. I don't know why she was a car. Someone is thinking about this as an idea for a musical, and they're going to make it because literally everything is possible. So look, the source material that you choose is the most important thing. This is the foundation of the house you're building, and you don't want to build your house on a shaky foundation. So if you're not in love with your story, don't do it. Movies are a great valid source to, to turn into musicals, but I will caution you. They're expensive, you need to be connected, you have to get the rights, and that's not easy. And if you are, say, independently wealthy and you can get the rights, please private message me. I have some great ideas and I would love your money. To me, basing a musical on a play is probably the easiest way to go. Your playwright has done all the heavy lifting and you're essentially musicalizing something. A novel is much trickier. A novel you have to discern, you have to read it a hundred times, you have to really fully understand it. And if you're gonna make a musical on a TV show, good luck. Just remember, you're gonna be living with these characters for the next 10 years if things go well. So you wanna love them or you wanna hate them for all the right reasons. Make sure you love the story you're telling. Make sure you know why you're telling the story you're telling. Why are you telling the story? If you're musicalizing a movie, then why are you musicalizing it? Uh, do you just like the movie and you just want to sing songs to it? That's not a good enough reason. You have to have your own unique vision for why this particular story that you love should be told through music. Not every character sings. Did you see Spider-Man? I think one of the best ideas of source material is, is novels in the public domain. That's what I've done with, with Jane Eyre and Emma and Sense and Sensibility. So here's what's great about adapting a novel in the public domain. You don't need to buy the rights, you don't need to ask permission, and you can do anything you want. I suspect if there is an afterlife, I'm gonna get the shit kicked out of me by Charlotte Bronte, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, and I think Oscar Wilde is gonna punch me in the face. Adapting a novel is super hard work. And part of what you have to do is you have to figure out what part of the story not to tell. The first time we ever did Jane Eyre, we basically performed the novel on stage and it was three and a half hours long and everybody wanted to kill themselves. Of course, I worked with the director of Les Miserables and Nicholas Nickleby, so he didn't mind long. When I was adapting Emma, I felt the, the, the brother and the sister of Emma were unnecessary, so I didn't include them. They were several chapters in the book. When I adapted Sense and Sensibility, I actually made the, the decision that we didn't need the mother and the little sister. I didn't think they were necessary to the storytelling. Now some people may go, wow, like, you know, Jane Austen will hurt you if she knows you did that. Again, in the afterlife, I might find out that's true. But in storytelling, it was a much better way to go because on stage, you only have so long to tell your story. When you're reading a novel, you can sift through everything and make and, and everything is interesting and you come back to it later. So nothing really feels long, but on stage you can't do that. You have to find a different way of telling the story and you have to find different ways of economy in telling your story. And that's crucial when adapting a musical. Here's a big tip. Don't try to guess what the audience wants. You don't know, I don't know. I mean, you know, if you have Hugh Jackman in your musical, probably your musical is going to do well. But unless you have Hugh on speed dial, I, I would just say write what you love. Write, write what works for you. That's what I do. Especially when I'm writing a first draft of something, I don't think of the audience. I just think of myself. What makes me feel good? What do I like? And then as soon as you have it in front of an audience, that's when you pay attention to them. And that's when you adjust everything because they will tell you if you're doing good or if you suck.